When the weather viewer activity first gets set up, the onCreate method does its initialization of various aspects of the weather viewer activity and then calls setup tabs, which is going to create the tabbed navigation in the action bar at the top of the screen. So to do that, the first thing we do is obtain a reference to the action bar, and we use the inherited method getActionBar to do that. Then we set the navigation mode on the action bar, in this case to navigation mode tabs, and that basically means we're going to have tabs in the action bar and only one of those tabs can be selected at a given time. There's also uh, a list navigation mode that can give you a drop down list for navigation purposes and then there's a normal navigation mode which is basically for things like the menu item that you saw in the upper right corner of this app. At line 449 we create a new tab on the action bar and we assign it to the tab called current conditions tab. We then set the text on that tab and set the listener to respond to the event of the user touching that tab. And finally, we take that tab and add it to the weather action bar. We do the same thing down here in lines 460 through 464 for the five day forecast tab as well. And then finally, at line 467, we set our instance variable current tab to the current conditions tab constant to indicate that the current conditions are selected initially.